Sleepy. Uh, could have a better start, could we? I wouldn't try that. <laughs> okay. Do you want to that again? No. It's too scary. Is that Damascus? Yeah. Wait, so. Is Galician beef worth roughly double the price of really top level British rare breed beef? So we've got a Galician ribeye. It's a roughly 800 gram thick ribeye steak. And we're pitting it against my current favorite rare breed beef, which is Ruby Red or Devon. It has two names. And this is a wonderful grass fed beef from Southwest England. Um, and I get it from a good friend of mine, Butcher, here in West London at Ealing Butchers. It's really pure in flavour, delicious. This has been dry aged for about 35 days or so, so you do get lovely nutty sort of nuance going there and a little bit of that aged flavour. It's got a decent amount of marbling and um, it really, really comes out well. So I want to pit that and this is the same size of steak roughly. It's cost about half as much as the Galician beef. So. Is it worth going up to the Galician beef? Is it even an improvement or is it just something interesting and different? Let's get on with it. So today we are going to be reverse searing the beef. This is a method that I really enjoy doing. Uh, it's an alternative to sous vide, which I will use on other videos and I'll show you how that works if you've never done it, how you can do it at home quite cheaply. But today is even simpler. Reverse searing, all that means is putting your beef into an oven or into your charcoal grill or, or gas barbecue at a really low temperature to start with and you will need to use a temperature probe which you can get really cheaply. I'll put a link down there. Uh, I'm not making anything off these links um, at the moment. I just want to show you what I'm using. And we're going to start the oven off at a really low temperature and I'll tell you later what temperature we're trying to get the beef to but by using the probes we can be really specific. And in order to do these tests it means that putting a probe inside each of the steaks that we, we ever pit against each other we can get them to be you know, almost exactly the same, as close as we possibly can. I'm going to season them both in the same way, just with salt today. Um, I, I don't like to put pepper on a steak before I've seared it because you will just burn that off. I don't tend to use any other spices or anything like that. And that's because I will be using my very own uh, oil that I have here. And if you want to know how I make that, just look up here. Alright guys, we've been cooking these steaks for quite a long time now, they've had a couple of hours nearly in the oven, brought them up to uh, a temperature for medium rare, and these two boys, although they know they're having steak, they don't know what they're having, why they're having it, but they're hungry, but apart from that, and they don't know what we want to find out, and I'm not going to tell them. So first, let's just carve this meat. So boys, can you guess what cut of steak this is just by looking at it? Any clue? Is it a piece of steak? Yeah. Can you tell why it's not a sirloin? Uh, yeah. yeah, so we've got the eye of the meat here, and we've got this sort of funny bit round there. So normally we cut that off first. And then we will carve this across this way. Thank 
Thank you. Alright. Um, we'll try it without any chimichurri fun. So let's see what we did for this day. Cuts pretty easy. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. It's really juicy. Mm. Very good. Absolutely full of flavour. But overall, that's really tender, very juicy. Excellent. Right, let's try this one. Now, I've been excited about this type of steak for quite a long time, so that might give you a clue. Obviously, Ooh. it was really marbled before it was cooked. And you can just see by how juicy it is. Cheers. Much more famous. Mmm. It's got a lot of flavour. Mmm. Wow. It's really nutty. What do you think, boys? Mm. They've both got a lot of flavour, haven't they? Yes, what's the flavour? It is a completely different flavour. I would say the first one is less nutty in flavour, less like yeah. savoury. It's got quite a, it's a very fresh and slightly sweet flavour of beef. Like it's really clean. Yeah. Mmm, actually when you go back to it again. Wow. That is delicious. Right, I think what will be interesting now is, boys, you're not going to possibly be able to tell me what this is. But you've eaten this beef many times before, and we've always enjoyed it, haven't we? Yep. So, this is just from our butcher, and it's a rare breed British cow. But this one, you might have heard me talk about it the other day. Can you remember what it is? Mm. No? Okay, this is a special type of cow from Spain, which you all know about now, from earlier in the video. And it's uh, double the price of what we normally buy. Would you say it was worth double the price for it? Oh, yeah. Well, it's obviously very different, so maybe if you're looking for something different, mm. if you're looking for if what you want is a change, then I'll say it's probably um, worth it, but maybe it might be a bit on the expensive side. Yeah. And then, um, but if it, if you're just comparing the two, I think they're equally flavorful but in their own different ways. Yeah. So, good point. Yeah. So, I mean. We're not start, We're not doing like cheap supermarket beef and really expensive beef. They're both already really brilliant beef. Um, okay, here's what I would say. Having having spent a lot of money, literally this this piece here costs twice as much, um, and we eat beef probably once a week, so that would add up really quickly. And we, you know, we love this this beef. I haven't done it the best justice today. Um, but you're going to see this this beef is going to be like the control beef that we use in all the other videos when we compare other steaks so it's absolutely fantastic we love it but there is something special about this Galician steak it's incredibly juicy I've always found that um, and as you can see like it's still just got juice pouring out so I would say for a special treat you can go out and get this and for really fantastic beef that you eat on a weekly basis go for this if you like this video and you want to see more like this, please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be releasing um, loads of videos in the near future. If you're watching this way off into the future, then I'm, I hope our channel still survives uh, and hopefully you've subscribed. All right. Cheers. <laughs>